I am on the mission to find some vegan Easter eggs, so I thought I'd take you along on my journey. Hope you enjoy! was actually half the price. Actually, correction guys, I just checked and the one that I got from um, Woolworths was actually 15 grams less than the LD one. So let's go to Coles and see what they've got. of vegan Easter eggs from three different shores, shores, stores, and let's get home and let's get tasted. Alright guys, let's get in to the very first chocolate. the Aldi ones. Not only was it cheap, but it was great value for money. The ingredients were fine-ish. Yeah, when you're looking at anything that's processed, you need to be very careful of the ingredients. All right, my loves, just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the Easter egg front. Now, this is a week later that I'm giving you this update. These eggs actually didn't make me feel good at all. They actually made me feel quite sick. So I won't be eating vegan Easter eggs again. I'm happy to make my own out of date and almonds, blend them together in the food processor, roll them into the shape of a ball, and then my vegan chocolate kind of got caught up in the whole the consumerism side of it but it is good to know that that option is there that's something that you would like to gravitate towards but for me it doesn't make me feel good my body is very very sensitive and if I'm eating things that my body isn't normally used to then I just feel awful anyway guys enough of me rambling on you're free to make your own decisions and work out what's truly best for your body like to be featured in an introduction to any of my videos then please check out the link in the description and I can't wait to see what you do. We 